What is going on guys? Today we are back and today you guys are joining me in my shower. The presidential shower that I really need replaced. So first off, happy 4th of July if you live in the United States. It's currently July 3rd for me, but I'm still going to be doing fireworks stuff today. But I was thinking maybe doing fireworks versus drone again like I did last year. This morning the police called and they found my mom's truck. It was found not that far from here, that's all we know. We don't know what condition it's in, we don't know anything. We're about to go pick it up. It was probably robbed completely. They probably didn't leave anything of value in it if they went through my fan mail. And they found the truck, not the person that stole it, so I don't know. We'll see. Just uh, give me a minute to finish my shower. I don't think I've ever started a vlog in a shower, maybe once or twice. Anyway, see you guys in a minute. And let me tell you guys, having an actual closet full of shirts is so much better than digging through a pile of clothes in my room and then just wearing the same stuff. So shout out to my mom for helping me. I have so many shirts that look the exact same. Hold up. Like right here, you have this brown and black shirt, and then you head right over here, and it's basically the same thing. And yesterday, our neighbors invited us to go over to their house for dinner. We went into their backyard and we swam. Really cool people, by the way, if you guys are watching this, I love you guys. We already knew that a lot of people drive by our house and basically stalk us, and then some of them like walk into our yard, try to jump on the trampolines, or go into our actual backyard. So we had a really good like three hour long talk with them, and we're actually getting our very own bodyguard today. He should be here in about an hour. My mom has a friend who was really high up in the military, like he had to have a tracking chip everywhere he went because he was that high. And so it's that guy's son, he's really cool. I haven't met him yet, but he seems cool. Apparently our neighborhood is not secure enough. We don't have any security, we just have Luna. And Rose, but they sit and do nothing. <laughs> and all we have is our security cameras. We don't have any good security. So until we get that in place, we're gonna have this guy come and stay with us. It's him and his buddy, they're trading off. He's staying the night here and then one of them's like up outside. So one of them will be outside and then one of them will be asleep in here and then like they'll trade off, I guess. And we're mostly doing this because our whole family just feels unsafe. I woke up at 2.30 last night and I couldn't go back to bed till like four because I was just like, just had a horrible feeling. Imagine watching a vehicle at your house that was parked at your house just drive away off your property. It was just a horrible feeling and we all felt it. So this is what we're gonna do. For now, it's not permanent, okay? But he does know how to work a sniper, so we're gonna put him up on the balcony. And then finally, we have 4th of July with Harris's stepdad's parents tonight. Don't know how much I'll film there, but I will try to film there, so. Yeah, should be a uh, pretty interesting day. Now we wait for our bodyguard. Hey, there's my phone charger that I left at my neighbor's house, and I was just about to walk back over there and get it. But apparently they put it in my garage. See, they're nice people. And here's a clip from their house. I was gonna go back over there and show you where I jumped, but I'll just show you from the Snapchat. I put it on Instagram as well. It was really fun. Almost hit the ledge, but yeah. Jesse, bodyguard number one is here. Let's go meet him. Hello? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe she is a goat dog. <laughs> Guys, this is Jesse, and I already met you, but I'll, yeah, meet you for the vlog. He's like as big as me, but like maybe eight of me. Uh, so, maybe, uh, maybe a foot taller. Yeah, than that too. <laughs> yeah, you have free realm over any of our house. There's a guest room in there, but those beds are definitely not big enough for you. Yeah. There's a uh, beanbag room. Did mom show you the beanbag room? Yeah, I saw the beanbag room. Oh yeah, it's sick. <laughs> it gets really hot in there. I haven't shown it for a while, but I mean, anywhere you want to sleep, it's all yours. <laughs> <laughs> she will cuddle with you while we're gone because she'll need someone to cuddle with. She always growls when she has something in her mouth, too. Yeah, so nobody come to our house. He's going to be here 24-7. Should I jump in a foam pit? I haven't done that in forever. I don't care. Oh, my gosh. If you jumped in a foam pit, you'd... I'd uh, hit the bottom. Yeah, no, it would be so loud. <laughs> Tristan's friend jumped in last night, and it literally... That's what that sound was in yesterday's video with that big thud. So, yeah. Ow. That did not There's look no good spot to land because everything's so messed up. Too many people jumping in and not fixing that. Why don't we just get rid of it? No! What are you growling mm -hmm. about, huh? What's your problem? Mm -hmm. What's your problem? Mm -hmm. like and it's a celebrate. Okay, no more big time rush. This is serious now. Is it like parked outside or is it drivable or? Not without any keys, which we don't have. So, oh, so they took the keys? Yeah. Then what's the point of it? I have no idea. We may just have to go in and ask him. I don't see it. Me either. You know what? I'm coming. Yeah, I'm the owner of the Burgundy Ford F-150 that was found this morning. It was stolen Friday night. They told me, I thought they said here, it was 928, I think, north end of a road. They said is where it's at. Where do we go? Through the chain link fence, clearing the back of the property. I want to talk to the cop that found it and find out where it was and, yeah. you know, if they have any leads or anything. Well, we found it and we found it. This place looks great. Tore the thing off the front, tore that off there. Are those your chips? No. Oh, they went and bought some chips. Took every single thing out of it. Left some water bottles and that. They dented the door in. There's a ton of fireworks back here. Mm -hmm. I'm not even kidding. Yeah, look. And my tools. Yeah, your tools. They took all your tools? No, I mean, there's some stuff in there. Well, we got some free fireworks. Good charger. They left the good charger? Yeah. <gasps> Who 
Hey, thanks. Whoa, they forgot a dollar bill, idiots. It's like they literally just moved in and it was gonna be their new truck for a while. Yeah. They left my lipstick, some change. All the gift cards are gone, all the cash is gone. Who would have thought? So now what's the insurance gonna do? They will have it towed to a repair place and it's gonna have to get fixed and I'm gonna have to argue with them on diminished value claim. It's what, mm -hmm. it's, what it's called. And then we sell this and get you a new truck anyway because yes. you're not gonna drive this after no, this. No, I'm driving this. Yep. I just wanna find out who drove it. Why'd they dent the door? For what? I have no idea. Probably because they were high and stupid. I wonder where they trashed the window at. They yeah. had just thrown it out. They probably threw it out. Childhood windows not in here. Should we take the fireworks? We can. I kind of want to just leave it just like it is until the insurance people look at it. Yeah. But if it rains on these fireworks, it's going to ruin them. Let's just put them inside the truck. Okay. You guys are probably all going, well, why don't you go get their fingerprints off stuff? Well, see, I don't think the cops around here are going to take their time to do that. They need speeding tickets. <laughs> we'll see. Speeding ticket, speeding ticket, speeding ticket. They may figure it out. Oh, bet. If they do, I won't speed anymore. Goodbye fireworks, I'll go buy new ones that aren't tainted by a thief. Well, should we go home? Took the license plate off. Their hat? Has to have been. Spangles. Do they work at Spangles? I betcha. They probably left it because they were on drugs. What's that? Ammunition. Ammunition, really? There's a gun in here. So they arm robberied our vehicle? Grand Theft Auto. They probably took their gun, left ammo, forgot it. So they stole a truck for their 4th of July present, went, bought some fireworks, and then left their Spangles hat and their ammo. No one wears an ugly Spangles hat for fun, so they definitely work there. Do, you know, and I want to put out some kind of award reward because I want to find out who did it. Whoever beats ass of Spangle employee gets dollar bill. Whoever it is works at Spangles, that's all I know. Okay, so not that many people work at Spangles. Let's go ask somebody that works there. Wait, 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 wait. Um, we're not leaving our good charger. And the aux cord. I see people with similar hats. Strange question. Do you happen to know if anybody showed up here that works here within the last 24 to 48 hours in a burgundy pickup truck that maybe they didn't have before? No. My truck was stolen Friday night and the police recovered it and there's a Spangles visor yeah. in the glove compartment. Huh. So. Yeah, I haven't seen anything. Okay. All right. It was him. My God, he seemed creepy. Yeah. He's like, and he's nope. not wearing a visor. He just wanted to show off his bald head. Something was creepy. He's like, nope. He didn't seem concerned at all. Well, what a settling experience. We uh, went to Spangles, you know, saw some creepy Spangles workers, and we really don't know what we're gonna do. I don't know, in the meantime, I'm gonna try to have some fun, not worry about it. I mean, hopefully something happens and something turns up. Hopefully we can get some help from the police and, you know, they can find fingerprints or something because obviously there's gotta be fingerprints on some of it. But for now, I'm gonna go fix my hair because it looks really, really bad. So now we're just kind of more pissed off because whoever stole the truck obviously was armed whenever they did it, which is just that much worse. So annoying, whatever. Now I'm gonna go get Paris and we have a total of two vehicles now this car and my mom's car way over there because my truck had low coolant and a low tire and I hadn't had the oil change blah 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 so that's going into the shop I think we get my brother's car back today though so we will have some vehicles back but we're just running lower and lower on vehicles I'll go get Paris and then we'll go get some fireworks unlock it yeah, the window's open I think I'll just pull it out yeah. <laughs> hi hi how are you good good oh my gosh hey you stop with the growling when you have stuff in your mouth. It's weird. And also, we just found Rose sitting right here and with a bunch of $1 bills. Look, there's a 20 in there. Wow. Okay, guys, my hair has fallen back down. Paris is here. Well, it turns out my mom and my brother went back and got the fireworks out of the truck, so we're just going to use those in the drone later, and I'm not going to film at her... Yeah. Yeah. We're not going to film at the yeah. So I can just enjoy the company, you know? Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 So we shall see you guys in a little bit. Okay guys, it is dark outside. We're outside. We have the drone. We're sitting in my driveway. We don't know if we want to do it in the cul-de-sac or our driveway yet. We're, I don't know. We might as well just do it here. They're going to go up in the sky either way. We're trying to get this started up. Quentin did it for me last time because he's a great boy. That scared me. We don't know what time Kansas fireworks are supposed to stop like shooting them off. It's almost 10. We think it might be 10, but we're going to try to get it done, you know. We're going to get this drone in the air. We're going to fly it into the fireworks and if it breaks, DJI will probably send me another one. And if it doesn't break, it'll look cool either way. Like, I just want to get really close. Like, I tried to last year, but this time we're going to get even closer because now we're in control of the fireworks and the drone. We are now recording on the drone. Aircraft is in a warning zone. Fly with caution. There's us. That tiny, kind of out of focus light. Stop. And okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh my god! Oh.
The drone is alive! Holy crap! Oh. Oh. <laughs> Very close to the house and everything. Hey, how about you record? Like, I'm recording you're, you're recording like my mom. <laughs> you're good, Tanner. That was cool. She actually has a hose out right now, watering the driveway. It says on the box, can reignite, soak when done. Oh, bet. These are not your everyday fireworks. These okay, really let's go fun. grab some more, because that was really cool. <laughs> okay. Okay, mom, light another one. Number two. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just gonna, I'm gonna send the drone over. Oh! The drone's not even high enough. Hold up. Let me get the drone. I don't know. That one was a pretty close call. I'm not even paying attention to the fireworks. I'm just trying to get the drone shot for you guys. I'll pay attention while I'm editing. This is really cool. Okay, drone's coming back down. Mom's still watering the pavement. Okay, here, get a close up of lighting this one. It's really Dinner. good. Ready? <laughs> I'm putting the drone up real high for this one. Skyline now. Look at him. Boom, boom, boom. We're really close. Our neighbors have to hate us. <laughs> so tomorrow's the actual 4th of July. We'll probably do this again. I don't know because then it won't be 4th of July for you guys and then you know the whole firework thing will be over. So maybe, maybe not. This was fun at least. We're lighting fireworks tomorrow. I don't know if I'll film that, because, uh, you know, I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to go put my drone back inside. Yeah. Do I title this, uh, We Found My Mom's Truck, or uh, Drone Versus Illegal Fireworks? Hmm. Too much clickbait. Or We Got a Bodyguard. See, I wish I could space out my clickbait the one time I get three good things in one day. Rose and Luna do not like fireworks. They are very scared right now. They're all, they're all clean. All right, you take care of Rose. I'll go take care of Luna. Is it Give Luna a Big Hug Day? I think it is. <gasps> Oh, you just want a free belly rub. You ain't scared of nothing. You're scared of not getting belly rubs, aren't you? Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and thank you guys so much for watching. And don't forget to leave a like and share with your friends if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Pe peace out. Peace out. It ain't, it ain't fault. It ain't my fault.